Hello, my name is Priscilla Kendall and I'm an Associate Project Leader at the Education and Training Foundation. The Foundation commissioned three projects led by MSET, Abingdon and Whitney College and FE Sussex to provide help and support to senior leaders and governing board members in leading significant policy change for GCSE English and Maths provision. The outcomes from all three projects were to develop and deliver an initial targeted package of support for A, senior leaders, so they can increase the capacity to effectively offer GCSE English and Maths, and B, for governors and boards, enabling them to scrutinise and support strategies for delivering these GCSEs. This website hosts the outputs of all three projects and offers links to many relevant resources and activities. From last September, all students aged 16 to 19 who haven't achieved A star to C in English and or Maths GCSE have to continue studying these subjects as a condition of funding. This package of information, guidance, resources and activities is designed to provide much needed support to organisations in responding to this significant policy change. This video briefly describes both the range of resources available and the ways that the resources can be accessed and used. Different elements will be relevant depending on the stage your organisation is at in its GCSE English and Maths journey. The website is organised into six main sections covering vision and values, policy and drivers, strategy, governance and resources and links. An important element in building the strategy, vision and values provides reference documents and suggests key questions leaders and managers might ask themselves when developing their vision. Policy and drivers pinpoints current policy and drivers in England as well as explaining the international context. It gives links to government white papers, provides data from Ofsted and information about funding. The strategy section offers many practical ideas in covering three main strategic issues. Using data effectively, engaging and redeveloping staff and engaging and motivating learners. Within the engaging and redeveloping staff area, you have the opportunity to work through a very useful ECPD module GCSE Capability Staffing Toolkit for Senior Leaders. This mainly audiovisual package produced by Abington and Whitney College focuses on the challenges and opportunities to increase staffing capacity to offer English and Maths and has a downloadable plan to capture the necessary actions. A particular feature of the governance section is the video scribe. A simple short overview of this policy change and its implications for providers. This resource makes an excellent introduction to the policy area for all levels of staff. This section offers another Abingdon and Whitney College produced ECPD module, GCSE Capability Staffing Toolkit for Governors, which takes less than an hour to complete. Governors can learn more about the challenges, opportunities and strategies available to upskill and develop their organisation's workforce. The downloadable action plan provides key questions for them to use to challenge senior leadership teams. The resources and links section is organised around an A to Z directory of all resource links. There are also case studies, an annual planner and the FE Sussex research report. This research highlights evaluation strategies currently used by leaders and governors, but importantly also those that appear lacking. Practical elements include an overall evaluation template and two self-assessment toolkits. The toolkits address a range of questions to identify progress in GCSE provision. There is one for senior leaders and governors and another for curriculum leaders. Plus, there are examples of good practice in the teaching of English and Maths. We hope that you now have a good idea of the great range of information, activities and materials available and that you and your learners will benefit from your use of this website. Good luck.